that Iran is a democracy is already established. We saw a presidential election unprecedented in its frankness. Well, it's the democracy that the Iranian people's constitution uh, provides for. Iran has only been a democratic country uh, for uh, 30 years, uh, but in those 30 years it's come a long way. Its democracy is its form of democracy, and there is entitled to their form of democracy. What there are no grounds for, and no evidence for, is that the result is substantially anything other than that which was announced. Ahmadinejad got 11 million votes more than the second place candidate. That's a gigantic majority. It's proof of democracy Iranian style. It must be proof of it. This is proof. And it's a credit to Iran for having a system that allows them to vote and for their votes to count. The fact that there is a democracy in Iran is proved by what has been happening over the last few weeks. Mr. Khamenei, the supreme ruler of Iran, has asked people to remain calm. It's an Islamic country. It had an Islamic revolution, which introduced an Islamic constitution. But if your point is that the choice on offer was not a real one, then that's simply belied by the passions that have been aroused by the election. Now, of course, the uh, religious importance of the supreme leader, Ayatollah Khamenei, and that's a title that you're not entitled to deny him, I can assure you of that, any more than I am, is a revered figure, has a special place in the Iranian constitution, is a product of the Islamic revolution. Iran is an Islamic country. And this is an Iranian-owned television station. 